Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Last week I did a makeover on my dining chairs. It was time for the dining table. I got little ambitious in the process and I did epoxy coating, which turned out to be a disaster. That's a story for another day. Today I will tell you how I fixed my mistakes and I will still be able to enjoy my dining table. Let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. This is how the dining table looked like before I started doing the makeover. Then I applied epoxy. As you can see, the result was not flattering at all. I decided to strip off the epoxy with a paint thinner and sand it off completely. But the entire thing was so time consuming that I planned to replace the tabletop with the same size plywood. Unfortunately, I couldn't remove the tabletop either because it was so tightly glued. Instead of removing the tabletop, I attached the plywood with it and kept it overnight, praying that there won't be any more disaster. And next day, it was actually attached perfectly. It was time to prepare the plywood. I cleaned the surface and lightly sanded with 220 grit sandpaper. It's very important to be careful while sanding a plywood. You can go to the next layer easily and there is no coming back from the next layer of plywood. I used a sanding machine for the sides and the corner. Before applying wood stain, I applied some wood treatment oil to avoid any blotchy or uneven staining. I'm going for a black and white kind of look for this table. Today I'm using an almost black wood stain and I will give the link of the product in the description box. After two coats of painting, I got my desired color. After attaching the table legs, I started preparing the frame for chalk pin. There were some epoxy drops which I could not remove earlier. I used a knife to cut the epoxy drops under the table frame. It's always a good practice to clean the surface before painting. Today I'm using a white chalk paint by Bayer. I used the same color for my dining chairs makeover. This is a beautiful color but the light is not picking up properly. The first coat did not give the full coverage so I went ahead and used another coat of chalk paint. The table was ready, now I needed to give a little finishing touch. I bought 2 inches wood trim from Home Depot and got them cut as per the table's measurement. After sanding the wood trims, I attached them with construction glue, which by the way is very strong. There were some gaps in the corners, so I used some wood putty to fill in the gaps. I love the color as is, but I chose to stain the trims to hide the wood putty. At certain point, I thought of giving up and buy a new table, but then somehow I completed the makeover. I cannot express my satisfaction and happiness. If you want to watch more videos like this, then please subscribe and see you next week.